Hi tweens! Welcome to Tween Scene Online Summer 2020. Today we're going to learn how to paint a mini decorative bird bath. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you protect your surface. I have a paper towel here, but you can use newspaper, an old magazine, something your parents don't care about because we're going to be using acrylic paint and acrylic paint will um, stain. So make sure that you have your surface covered. In your kit, you should have received a small ceramic bird bath. And you will also get three containers um, half full of uh, acrylic paint. I have brown here because that's what I had at home, but um, in yours you'll have uh, red, blue, yellow, pink, or orange. So, if you want to make another color, you can mix them. Remember that um, red and yellow make orange, uh, yellow and blue make green. Um, if you mix too many colors together, you're just going to get a yucky brown or worse, a uh, yucky gray. So be careful when you're mixing your colors. The other thing you'll have in your kit is a small paintbrush. Now this is reusable as long as you rinse it out really well when you're done. You may want to rinse it out in between colors too and then just blot it dry on your paper towel. All right, some suggestions for painting. I'm not going to show you how to paint it because I figure you're going to be creative and want to do your own thing, but I do have some tips. I would start with the top here and the base of the pedestal. That way you can move it around by holding it in the middle and uh, do your designs and then let it sit and dry for about 10 minutes. Um, when you touch it and it's dry enough so that it doesn't show up on your fingers, then you can hold it from the ends and paint the middle. All right. So here's my completed one. You can see I used um, some blue, some red, I mixed together some yellow and blue to make some green, and then I saved some of my yellow to make some polka dots. Now, how did I make polka dots using this big old brush here? I didn't. I used a um, cotton swab or Q-tip. So then you just dip that in your yellow paint, and once the blue was dry, I was able to make some polka dots. You could also use the end of an old um, pencil eraser, as long as you don't care about using it to erase anything afterwards. You could use your fingertip. All of these things are um, perfectly fine to use, and um, you can be as creative as you want. You can do stripes, you can use words, you can do flowers, you could do polka dots, you could use um, swirls, however you want your craft to look at the end. After it's dry, I would suggest you take a little bit and go over any bumps and stuff. You can see where I have my green come up a little bit there on the side to touch up the colors. You should have plenty of paint if you want to do one or two coats. Um, the ceramic absorbs it really well. Now, unless you have hummingbirds or some other really teeny tiny birds around your house, this probably won't fit too many birds in it and it's not going to hold a lot of water. So it's more of a decorative bird bath. I would use it, you could put some jewelry in there or paper clips or um, uh, your house key. So uh, anything that you want that's uh, small and you can use it as a decorative um, holder. Um, you could even put like a little mini air plant on top. Um, however you want to use it, I hope that you enjoy creating this and that you'll share pictures of your completed creation with us on uh, social media. And we look forward to next week when we will be making, sorry, we will be making dry erase boards out of Ikea picture frames and washi tape. Thanks for coming today, teens, tweens, sorry, tweens. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's craft. Bye now.